So Marius wants to make you into his puppet empress. I don't know. The letter made it sound pretty bleak. Father just keeps singing the same line of hound dog over and over again. And you're just going to desert and run back home to your enormous palaces and bloated trust fund. Oh, and leave all this. Stuck up bitch. Megalomaniac. Goodbye, Commander. And I'd just like to say that if I ever see you again, it'll be a million years too soon. And I hope you all rot in hell. Toodles. <laughs> Wow, emo man, you're even worse at chess than you are at dogfighting. Yeah, well, I boned Sophia last night, so in your... Sure you did, emo man. I did! Oh, I believe you. Just remind me to wash off these pieces when we're done, okay? Oh, screw off. You're sure glad I wear gloves all the time. Hey, everyone, guess what I was doing last night? Wrestling the one-eyed Lilliputian? <laughs> Choking the chocobo? Bleaching your coveralls? Masturbating? Godwin, sometimes I really wonder about you. What? Actually, I was showing Sophia my emo mentor. Hey, whatever you want to call it, kid, that's great. Just keep it to yourself from now on, okay? That's the whole point, You're isn't all it? a bunch of jerks. I can't believe that pubescent little wank stain is getting more action than me, so he is. Hey, Mullen, get the hell over here and give me a hand with this. Oh, oh what that were actually the case? case. Hey, Klaus, where have you been? Actually, I've been... Oh, God, what is that smell? There's no smell. Still stuck on denial. Oh well, four more to go. Hey Alex, have you seen Sophia around anywhere? At what point did it become appropriate for you to stroll about my place like you owned the ship? Well, ever since I... Hey, hey, hang on a second, say that again? I am still the captain of this barge, and you cannot simply vessel into my quarters uninvited. Are you feeling alright? I, I hope the, the captain's, captain's getting shit-faced right now. Oh, top of the morning, Miss Cag. And what brings you to our little den of iniquity, then? I don't know. I guess I just wanted to talk to something even more worthless than me. Oh, well, now that's just... Oh, whatever. Have a seat. What made you decide to give up being a rifleman? Well, they tend to hang traitors, and deserters are killed by firing squad, and, well, fool that I was, I thought those were worse fates than what might await me here, so I did. Of course, now that you mention it, I don't suppose you'd like to help me polish the old ramrod? I forgot. What's it called when you release the goat head halfway through ramming the charge and send the ramrod pinwheeling over your line along with your severed fingers and eyebrows? That's going off half cock, ma'am. Right, so it looks as if I'll be polishing my rifle alone, so I will. Yeah, you do that. Arise, you champions of chivalry, it's time to get shot in the head. Oh, our deaths will be mercifully hasty. Our commander Now announcing her Imperial Highness! God, the first thing I do is ever just get rid of that stupid anthem. His Majesty's condition must be rubbing off on Marius. That wouldn't surprise me. What astonishes me is that he was able to convince you to show your face in the capital again. As I understand it, you were more than partially responsible for the sinking of four Abadus class warships. You sure that wasn't due to user error? I mean, to be fair, we basically just let them sink themselves. Be that as it may, I have all the justification I need to have you imprisoned indefinitely and to establish a provisional government comprising of a tribunal of the highest ranking military officers, myself included as it so happens, whose only regulating body comprises an octogenarian whose sanity is about as stable as a one-legged platypus. That's some pretty high politics for a show targeted at 13-year-olds. Fair enough. Besides, under the 11th Amendment, even the wartime imperial neurosis clause requires the formation of an elected council in order for your provisional government to have any legitimacy whatsoever. Aha, but what power can an elected council possibly wield over the military tribunal who commands all the guns? Point taken. Fucking Marius. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers, for he today's that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother, be he never so. Excuse me? What is it, you worthless maggot? I'm a girl. Or my sister, whatever. I was being metaphorical. No actual exchange of genetic material was ever going to take place. Now, where was I? Ah. In peace, there's nothing so becomes a man as. Excuse me? Or woman, Thank as you. modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitates the action of the Norser god. Excuse Stif me. What is it now? What exactly is the action of the Norsern god? Goat? I was getting to that. And do I even need to mention how sacrilegious it is to be quoting Shakespeare with Russian accent? Shut up, ineffectual little girl. Your talking privileges have been revoked for the rest of the episode. Uh, once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more. Plug the walls with the net on the dead. Damn kids and their rap music.
Wait a minute. It seems the Dissip have attacked under cover of- Yes, yes, I'm crazy, not blind. What I don't understand is how this could have happened. Well, let me see. By sheltering Alvis from the Guild, you've basically guaranteed their ambivalence towards us. You send back the disembodied head of every Dissip envoy, while simultaneously hobbling our own armed forces by appointing no a leadership know, comprised of incompetent yesmen and power-hungry jackals the anxiously Dissip, they've awaiting done my job your for downfall. Me. And the final nail in the coffin, you leave the defense I of our northern borders in the hands of a man whose name literally translates as Crazy Prince. You make it sound as if I should have expected this! For 25 years I've put up with your shit, you senile old bastard. Now die and leave a shriveled, urine-fouled corpse. My, what a big sword you have, soldier. I just what do you mean by that, then? Oh, never mind. Deus Ex Machinoned! Wow, I guess it really is true what they say. Pardon? About men with big swords having tiny balls. Oh, that. You're welcome, by the way. It's the return of the prodigal poopsmith! Should we slaughter a fatted latrine, do you think? I hate you all. <laughs> Klaus, do you even remember why we're in this show? Yeah, so I can get it on with- Look, how many people actually believe that goat and chocobo story of yours? Oh, come on, there was- Mullen. That doesn't count. Okay, well, how about protecting Al from, from the heavily armed crew of the heavily armed warship, all with the power of your teenaged angst? I still haven't punched Alex in the face. We were supposed to be crossing the Grand Stream. Holy shit, you're right. I totally forgot about that. I guess I've always got Tatiana to fall back on. You're an idiot. With the Emperor and Prime Minister out of the way, I have only to shoot down the Urbanus to become the undisputable Supreme Commander of- Um, sir, do you really want to be saying all that out loud? Oh, please, even a rank and file soldier must be able to see this regime is in desperate need of an administrative enema. True, but to be making openly treacherous statements before such a time as you achieve a state of incontrovertible authority is just asking to be thrown on the fire. This is for punning me, you mutton chop <laughs> lard ass. I hesitate to point out that by using the phrase thrown on the- Oh, the predictable irony. Actually, sir, by definition, irony must come unexpected. Oh, shut up and die gracefully. Ah, there's nothing like venting impotent rage. <laughs> See, if I had his problem, I'd have a lot of rage to vent too. You really set yourself up for these too easily. That was our last Skullapendra cannon. I'm putting you on a charge for that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm still here. But there's no chivalry in attacking from the rear. Didn't you get the memo? Chivalry is dead. Well, I would call this earth's valent truly scorched. All ships withdraw at flank speed. Oh, oh compose yourself, you shilly man, the they're getting away. My beloved I can't believe the woman of that arrogance, deserting her plot right in the middle of an important post. I can't believe it. <coughs> Many of me seeds have been cut out. Tell that wee Nazi boy on Wordle to write me back into this damn thing already! I've given up any say of having pretense over what goes on here around any whatsoever. Look, just top me up with whatever <coughs> that vile stuff is anyway. It is green. What happened to Klaus? What are you, a talking <coughs> horse wallow now? Who gives a crap? What has he done now? Oh, what didn't he do? Ugh. Look, no one misses a goat more than I do. But it's dead, Al. Have you considered getting a blanket or a- And whose fault is that? Oh, hey, Tatiana. Word. Hey, if you've got five minutes to kill, you wanna- No, I can't subject my ears to that kind of punishment. Well, that's awfully presumptuous of you. Nice landing, dickhead. Shut up, smartass. Do me a favor. Pull your lip over your head and swallow, moron. Hey, either of you assholes know where I can find Alex Rowe? Really, honey? Oh, what is it now? What is it now, she? She who must be obeyed. This is really the best you can come up with? Come on, it's from a well-known movie. Sure, it would have been. Back in 1993. Yeah, well, you... Your average viewers would have been a few months removed from a fetus when that movie came out. Wow. I'm fucking old. And that's also the worst Jack Lemmon impression I've ever heard. Because of course you do nothing but search for impressions of dead actors all day long, so you naturally have a sizable battery of material against which to make that Paris. Okay, okay, no more outdated movie references. Jeez. Talk my regards to give man hands. Yeah, yeah, asshole. Kids. Can't live with them, can't shoot them. Remind me of policy that cite to reinstate Vessinger man ships on shooting. Y yes, sir. Did anybody get that? Hell if I know. Just put us into the closest port and quick. But there's been a terrible mistake. First platoon, I didn't present. Present. I just got locked Fuck. Oh, God, Second platoon, one the step forward. Present. Present. If only. Yar, hair of the goat. You med my rind.